Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles. Alright, let's uh, hurry up and deliver this letter we'll to seek an audience Don, the moment we return. and see if yeah, we can get, get a get pass to get through the gate. I wish we could just go straight to the ruins. Indeed. Oi! Back already? Did you deliver the letter to Veruca then? <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Suppose we owe you. Except things have, uh, well, changed a bit while you were gone. Yeah, uh, you see, uh, Mrs. Fibonacci, the boss's missus, she found out about the letter, right? And now that you know what's it to find, <laughs> it's like a bleeding war zone in there. Hang on, I got it. Maybe this lot could find some way to calm the missus down for us. Hmm, yeah, it's worth a shot, I reckon. Uh, mm, all right, uh, go on in then. Understand, Anura, my sweet, my precious. Do you have a heart? A man needs to have a dream sometimes. It makes life worth living. But I still love you best. <laughs> oh, you love. I know what you're thinking, Leonard. Clear out. What is Jabba the Hutt doing in a game like this? We can use them. Why have we here? Looks like some messages from that bird, Veruca. What? Rabbit? Look, you lot. The boss already told your mistress that he can't accept a proposal, no matter how keen she is on him. So go on, scram. <laughs> what? You came with a message? All huh? right. Let's see what? your message. Do you... Uh. Uh. My dearest Fibonacci, I've read your letter a thousand times, and each time has broken my heart into tinier and tinier pieces. I understand now that your heart is given to one woman, and one woman only, your wife, Anura. Oh, how I envy her. My tears just won't stop flowing. The oasis has become quite deep, just like after a rainstorm. Uh, 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 farewell forever, my sweet, sweet Fibonacci. Well, they have it. <laughs> so, boss, you only have had eyes for Mrs. Fibonacci after all, huh? <laughs> uh, cool. That's what I call devotion. But at least that Veruca woman will leave you alone from now on. <laughs> what a relief, huh? <laughs> uh. Rabbit? Rabbit. Rabbit, 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 your quick thinking certainly saved the day, and possibly my life. Yeah, nice job, mate. Nah, don't thank me. Thank them lot. Oh, indeed I should. From what I am told, you are the ones who delivered my letter to Veruca. Isn't that correct? Well, what did she say, my good friends? Here, boss. Let me read it. <clears throat> Dear Fibonacci, thank you for your kind letter. While I am very flattered, I could never leave the oasis to live near you. Because uh, I cannot live very long outside the water, you see. I'm afraid our love is destined to remain un unconsum unconsummated. 
Farewell, gentle Don. Oh, I'm sorry, boss. No, you lie! It simply cannot be! Oh, alas, I fear I have subjected our guests to a rather embarrassing display for which I much apologize. Not only did you deliver my letter, you rescued me from a domestic disaster. I am in your debt. <laughs> Tell me, how can I repay you? Anything, anything you desire. Name it, and it's yours. How about a pass for the South Gate? We want to go to the ruins. A oh, pass for the South Gate? <laughs> Nothing could be easier, my short-tongued lad. All right. However, that is hardly enough to discharge my obligation to you. Hmm. What else can I give you? Hmm. Oh, yes, I have just the thing. My gut tells me you have a long road ahead of you. No doubt you carry weapons with which to fend off monsters of the wild. Give to me two weapons of your choosing and I can bind them together to create a new, more powerful weapon for you. This I will do whenever you wish. We thank you, sir. Ah, uh, one small thing. As it happens, I consider myself a dabbler in all things mercantile. If you understand me. I will have to charge a small fee for the server strictly for business purposes. I promise to keep the fee reasonable. What kind of thanks is that? Leonard! Uh, what's more, I happen to own a large number of binding posts in every corner of this continent. Henceforth, I shall see that those shops are equally at your disposal. Thank you. You're far too kind. Yes. Yes. Bind to your heart's content, as we like to say. Now then, friends, I suppose that you will be on your way. That Fibonacci, he's quite a character. I suppose so. At least we can bind our weapons now. Before leaving Albana, we should prepare for the battle ahead. Right. Good idea. And by prepare for the battle ahead, if you mean to start binding items. Yes, finally. After... Oh, I, don't have I told to you to hold on to it's all of your equipment, armor, weapons, items, everything you've gathered from harvesting. We will finally be able to make a use out of it. So, uh, first of all, let's grab a couple of treasure chests that are in here, and then go take a look at this binding post. And here we got a Chromium Pearl level 2. And on the opposite side, you've got Guardian Pearl level 2. Alright, let's go take a look at this binding post over here. First one, I believe every town in the game has one binding post. Even Bal uh, Bal Balandor had one, but uh, we aren't there, so poultry. <laughs> uh, anyways. Alright, so let's see what we can bind here. We can bind items, weapon, armors, and armor, and accessories. Well, items, we can buy, actually bind heal potions for 10 gold using ghost walnuts and little white flowers, and so what's the point of that? Well, it's heal potions, pretty easy to come by. Weapons here, and what the? All these weapons suck, except for the katana. But yeah, even then, we'd need a bastard sword plus two. As you can tell here, there's. In order to get some of these weapons, you need to have some. You need to have spent a, quite a bit of 
Gilder to, you know, upgrade them, especially the Bastard Sword Plus 2. I think that was actually available at, uh, in Valindor uh, before heading to Parma, but uh, I didn't really feel like picking it up because we didn't need it. Same with the Spear, it seems like all this stuff we don't need. Well, and the armor as well. Yeah, you can get some different stuff if you'd like, but we'll be getting some better stuff shortly. So what was the point of uh, holding on to all that weapons and armor? Well, actually, because right now, I want, just want to donate it all, because as you can see at the top there, you got rank, one, point, so basically each one of these pieces of armor and everything I'm going to be donating goes towards experience points towards the next level. And the more you donate, the higher the level goes, and the higher the level, uh, the better stuff you can actually forge. So let's uh, start donating some of this stuff, everything I intend to, I'm going to do it on screen, just so you can see exactly what I am donating. And uh, you can do likewise, even the pebbles are useful. So I'll delete those. And the rocks, oops. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna hold on to the copper or anything that looks like it'd be worth something. Hold on to it, the withered branch. Get rid of it. Basically anything broken, so to speak. Sturdy branch, keep that. Shriveled vine, get rid of those. Sex shell, do I need those? Yeah, hard to imagine the use. Alright, sell it. <laughs> yeah, salmon berries, definitely hold on to those. Uh, and caterpillar, not sure if those things come in use, so I'll hold on to them. Uh, ghost walnut, broken mask, sell those. And where else? Uh, Is that it? Oh yeah, gold bags of gold dust. You can actually sell this stuff for money, but honestly, you don't need to. I'm just gonna donate it. And yeah, I guess that looks like that's it. Hang on. Put it over here. Yeah, let's donate this stuff as well. As you can see, you cannot donate your default equipment, so don't want to try. Level 2. Awesome. Now let's see what other cool stuff we can uh, bind. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see what else we can get here. Yes, we can bind Heal Potion 2s out of the Salmon Berries. That's why I wanted you to hold on to them. Uh, for now, I'm actually going to say hold off on that. Uh, just because, well, our HP isn't quite high enough, and really the only person that will have a use for those is Lyriel, when, when she's doing her quests, when she's solo, uh, so I'll uh, worry about that. I'll probably do it when we come back from uh, the ruins, so yeah, hold on to that. Mana potions, yeah, you can't really do much about those. Uh, but yeah, these potions are extremely expensive if you try to buy them, so yeah, doing it through here is much more worth it. And weapons, what else have we got here? Uh, Chris will actually be getting one of those shortly, so no point in forging that. And yeah, as you can see, I upgraded this stuff, and actually the uh, wooden, wooden bow is actually better than the one we have now, but again, look how expensive it would be to make them, you know, so yeah, really no point. Actually, I'm kind of curious, seeing as I saw uh, the uh, hunting bow plus two there, what else we got here? Ooh, that looks like a nice cape. <clears throat> I guess we'll have to keep that one in mind. <laughs> But, yeah, alright, let's see, uh... Have we bought everything we need? No, but I want to go see what it would take to get the hunting bow up to, uh, level 2. Oh, yeah, we needed the, uh, tiny sapling, so I guess that's out of the question. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what the binding posts are all about. We probably will not be able to do much with them for a little while, other than uh, the heal potion 2s. Keep an eye on those. So, you know, keep donating stuff and everything like that. So yeah. All right. So that's all the time I have for this episode. So the next episode, we finally got the pass, which means we can finally head south, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to rescue Princess Cisna. This is Intrepid eighty three signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.